Hey guys, today we are testing out this massive, massive reel. This thing alone, probably 20 pounds. We're going to the fish gym today. Let's see if we can catch something massive. right at the edge of the, the brown and the... You think I'll need to green. drop it again? No, no, that's good. That's that's perfect. perfect. Hello. Hi, from beautiful Houston, Texas. We are here eating our way through Houston for a couple of days before we head over to the coast to go fishing. Houston actually has the largest community of Vietnamese in the United States outside of California. And we're here having a blast trying a bunch of different kinds of Asian cuisine with our family. And we're gonna include the names of all these places in the description. So if you're in the area, you can go and visit yourself. But this morning we hit a little snag. We went downstairs, gonna try to go to breakfast and realized that in the middle of the night, someone came and sawed off both trucks catalytic converters. So today we're problem solving. We're gonna try to figure things out, see how we can get these trucks fixed within a relatively short amount of time or if we can get rentals or what, but we wanna go fishing. So let's see what we can do. So our new solution is we're getting our trucks fixed. Meanwhile, we're renting out these nice four-wheel drive trucks so that we can tow everything and still continue on our trip. Whenever they're done fixing our car, we'll drive back real quick. We'll pick up our car, drop off the rentals, come back with the Tundras. But the trip must continue. The fish won't catch themselves. When we get back to the hotel, the courtyard, we have to ask them where's the best place to park without getting our catalog converter stolen again. Because apparently this is a big problem in this hotel, or just in Houston all in all, that people have just been stealing catalog converters and That's selling the them for black. Said. Yeah, the police said that they they literally get called almost every time a tundra comes into town. Yeah. And if we come back to Houston, consider not bringing the truck. First of all, let me show you this. This is the this is the airstream. We've got a seating area right here. We've got a grill. Check out our airstream. Whoa, there's more stuff here. Look. Dog treats. Oh, we put that there. I didn't know we had more storage here. So we've got a full stove, vent, we brought a rice cooker. I like that it's all stainless steel in here. 
We've got a big freezer, refrigerator stocked with beer and Diet Coke. Ooh. And they're bringing more food, so. And this is where all the family will hang out and, and chill when we're done fishing or before we go fishing. When we eat our meals, we can play some games, hang out, watch some TV. This is the way to do it. I love glamping. This is my mom's dream to actually stay in an Airstream, so I'm happy to make this come true. We saw this here last year, and uh, I was like, this is, this is the way for her to try it first. Besides buying an Airstream, first you gotta try it and see if you like it. Let's see how she likes it. Okay, okay, here's your surprise, okay? All right, one click to the left. Click to the too, left, okay? the other way. I'm so excited. Boom. Close my eyes. Where's Uncle Kim? Oh my gosh, Where's Uncle Tim? What about Uncle Tim? Uncle Kim! Uncle Kim! Come on, come on, come on. Close the door on you! It smells new, I like that. Yeah, everything's very clean. Oh my So, what was it? Look at this. I told you guys you're gonna I like think this we place. Need to buy one now. No, just kidding. <laughs> We were itching to get our lines wet, so we loaded up both rental trucks and got ready to go to the beach. But here's where things got a little bit interesting. As soon as we got out, my dad got his rental stuck in the sand because it was actually only two-wheel drive. So we dug and we dug and we pulled the truck out of the sand with help from a friendly passerby. Then we loaded up the family into our F-250 and headed down the beach once again. I got a turbo on this one. Turbo and diesel gas, so I'm not gonna get stuck on this one. We made it about 10 miles before, bam, we hit some debris that was covered by sand and it popped not one, but two tires. At this point, we were 10 miles down the beach, but luckily our friend Tim had been waiting for us a little bit further down and he came to our rescue. He drove us off the beach to our other truck, and then we had to go to a local shop to get an extra spare tire. Then he drove us back down the beach to rescue the rest of the family. It was a nightmare. The saga continues. And that brings us to today. So. It's been quite an adventure to get here, but we are going to meet Tim. We're gonna meet Tim, we're gonna get out on the beach, we're gonna do some fishing, we're gonna make it happen. Yeah.
star of the show here. The 80 wide Shimano Tiagra coming straight from Japan. And this guy's a freaking beast, y'all. Look at this. This is a 150 pound monofilament on top. Inside it has braid. And I can fly this out so far and land some huge fish. I'm tying on a massive rig here. I mean, look at this, okay? This is so thick. I think this is 200 to 250 pound mono right here. About 15 feet of that into some really thick, heavy leader line, steel leader right here, and a huge hook. Now, the point of this rod reel setup is so I can drop it really far out there. Things with sharp teeth, things without sharp teeth, anything huge, I'm going to land it because this thing is huge and it's very powerful. Equipped with a short, stout rod, I can really just pull it back in and it's gonna be a real battle. I'm really grateful to have Tim here as my partner. He saved us a few times already today and yesterday because I forgot my sinkers. That's why it's always good to travel with a fishing buddy. If you don't have a fishing buddy yet, get on it. Now, let's get the drone set up and zoom it out. After I zoom that out, I'll get the other one set up. So Tim has his truck built out so that he has a actual stand up there and we're going to put our shark rods up there so it keeps out of the way of all the other rods and yeah. uh it gets it out of the wave action so like the waves will leave your line alone you can get away out there and then if there's any weed and stuff in the gut it kind of keeps it out of the gut if there's uh, so that high vantage point kind of keeps everything from getting uh tangled up and washed around i'm excited i've never used i've never used a, a, a platform a platform like that yeah okay how far out how many probably so you see if you, you want to come up here are you scared of heights no i'm not scared of heights all right i'd love to come up here <laughs> <laughs> grab onto the so you see the you see where the the dirt meets the clear water yeah i do it's about 250 300 yards out but they go in this way it's probably going to be about 350 so I try and like at least go like maybe 400 or so. Okay. So, yeah, like so right between the, the dirty water, I mean the, the stained water and the blue water. Oh no, you want to get it in the blue water. Okay, get it get in it, the blue water. Get okay. it in the blue water, yeah. Where I pass the dirty water into the blue water, yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. All right, let's do it. If you want... Okay. When you fly over, make sure you fly above that pool. There we go. So when this is underwater, this gets caught in the sand like this and holds in the sand, right? And then if anything pulls it, this rig will actually slide with the sinker so that it's a little bit less conspicuous. 
So let's fly this bad boy out. This is my red drum rod. I'm not gonna fly this one as far as I did for the shark one. And you can tell the bait is a lot smaller and um, the line is lighter and I'm not gonna fly it as far. That's how I'm gonna be trying to catch a red drum rather than a shark. But who knows, a shark might jump right on. Hey guys, so I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a bunch of eBooks that I hand wrote myself and hand designed them to teach you guys all the different knots, the different gear, the different fishing techniques that I think you should know if you wanna catch a bunch of fish. And this is a great way to support our channel. If you don't know how to support our channel, check out some of these eBooks on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. Why should it just be a huge sinker dragging? I feel like it's pulling. Oh, it's a huge catfish. So I did have something. Hey, that's the perfect bait. Is that perfect bait? Send that sucker out as bait. I caught a bunch of black tip on stuff like that yesterday. That's a pretty big gap. Yeah, that's a huge gap top, man. That's a pretty big one. All right, that's what we're gonna use for bait, for that big shark rod. These are our specialty preserved baits that Brendan and I personally make. We literally package every single one of these with our own two hands. And these are our rigs. These are the new Skibiki rigs. These are great for bait fish. Catch all rigs with floats, good for beach fishing. Catch all rigs without floats. And this is the new Sure Catch rig. We've got to tie it on here. Feel something on it? Oh, it's still not done. Okay, back on. Here we go, another big catfish. I knew something was on there, that's why I swam all the way to the right. It's supposed to be really tasty. Yeah, yeah a lot of people like, like eating these. So. so this reel, it's a huge reel and you would really only use it for one thing on the beach and that's either droning it out or kayaking it out. It holds just so much line, like a ridiculous amount of line that you can fly it past any of the, the, the dirtier, more murkier water into the blue water. In that blue water, it's open water and open game. There's so many different kinds of fish and there's huge ones out there as well that you can land. That's why you need a big powerful reel. And I've got a nice short, stout, strong rod that I can pull in a big fish with. So there's a few really cool functions I wanna show you and highlight here that makes this reel awesome to me. First of all, this is the drag right here. It's a lever drag system, right? So you can set it at, you know, something like this. When your line is out there, a fish can pull it and it won't know, right? 
And then when you get a fish, push it up. And this is the strike zone right here. This is where you push it to strike. And you can set how hard you want, how tight you want this drag before you start fishing. Another really awesome function of this is this alarm system right here. When you switch this down, if it gets pulled, you hear it right away. Hear how loud that is? It's so you can leave the rod alone and you'll hear it getting taken and you can run to it like an alarm. The last awesome feature I like about this is this two-speed gear thing right here. You push this in and it'll reel it in slower, but it's really, really powerful. More powerful than the regular. The, the downside is it, it goes slower. Just think of it as like a four low versus four high when you're driving on the, on the beach. Using a Phoenix Just Axis a rod, uh, this is a really great rod. I was recommended to use this rod by one of the people who work there themselves. They said that this will go really well with this particular Shimano here. And I have to agree, it's been, it's been great for me so far. I think there's a fish on this one or something. Like you're acting that funny, one. I'm telling you. I'll finish my salad. I'll let him eat his food. <laughs> I'll finish my food. He'll eat his food. He'll get food. All right. That's all the way down the beach over there. It's like way down there. Somehow got all the way all the way over here. Either it's something big. Come get Are you okay? Are you okay? I'll be so happy if this is like a big ass red on here. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. What's going on? I don't know. What does it feel like? Here. Oh. Oh no. Oh my god. Hey, no, no. I'm gonna like drop this thing. Here. It's so heavy.
What kind of shark is this? It's a bull shark. Oh, bull shark. Yeah. All right, that guy must be a, a tired after a big fight. Let's get a picture. Yeah, let's get a picture real quick. All right. How, how big do you think this guy is? A little over five, so probably like five feet or so. Did it. That was the first fish on this reel too. Nice, nice. Yeah. I didn't even see it. <laughs> but also make sure to come out with a piece of wood. That's the deal. Yeah, I like that. That was awesome. <laughs> we didn't need any kind of flyers or anything. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Fish number one. I bet there's gonna be more shark right now. If there's you think one, so? if there's one, there's more. Okay, so, let's go get them. One fish and that I'm pretty exhausted from that honestly that's like that was like a 30 minute workout I had to walk quarter mile down there that shark took me for a little walk not to mention that it took us a few days to even get here on the honestly, beach Honestly, at some point I was like running down the beach with the shark just trying to reel in that slack because I thought it was stuck at first this, this reel was massive right it's really heavy so running down there with that is like pretty tiring I'm gonna take a break take a second eat some food uh, honestly it's such a huge relief to get the first big fish on on shore because it took four cars to get me here we went through our tundras we went through a rental and honestly i'm still pretty tender about this topic i don't really even want to talk about it the adrenaline that you get catching something big like that makes it all worth it and we're here for another week so hopefully we'll get on some more fish right later in the week for now i'm satisfied I'm gonna go take a rest now. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a crazy journey to get here. And I wanna thank my friend Tim here. I wanna thank all the people who have helped us get to this point. Uh, it takes a lot to make the show happen. And uh, look at that big catfish. Bait. That's next episode. We're gonna be using this catfish for bait. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you like our show. And I'll see you next week.